Diego Civic Theater. Angelica Campos joining us again as we uh, take a look at our weather. So much going on tonight. Yeah, let's start with an update on the conditions of the fire. You can see the winds here coming out of the west, and you can see the arrow is pointing in the direction of the wind and how it's moving. So we continue this westerly wind. A lot of people saying, hey, this is not a Santa Ana, so maybe it's not as bad. Well, thankfully, that's helping things out, but it's still very dry. The wind's coming out of the southwest and the area where that fire is burning. The wind gust averaging around six miles per hour, so not a terrible wind situation, but it's always a good idea to be ready. So I wanted to bring back some of our prevention tips here. Make sure to have an action plan, even if you're not there, even if you're not in an evacuation area. We need to be ready pretty much any time during the summer, and especially as we head into Santa Ana wind season. Have at least 100 feet of the fenceable space between your house and all that brush, and of course, anything that's flammable, plants near windows. You want to avoid that and remove it. Our excessive heat warning still in effect, but only for the mountains and deserts until 9 p.m. tonight and then the rest of the county will start to see the numbers go down, but not enough to bring us back to normal. High pressure will stay in place. That's going to keep the temperatures above average even as we go into next week. So the pattern here is going from a blocking ridge to a zonal flow where the storms would travel from west to east and nothing would actually make it down into the southwest to really create any big changes. So for tonight, we're going to keep it around 65 in Escondido. That's better. The last couple of nights we've had lows in the 70s, so it's great to see the 60s back in the forecast. In El Cajon, 67, 69 or 67 and rather in Carlsbad, also in La Jolla and 64 in IB. Tomorrow, temperatures around 98 degrees in Warner Springs, 90 in Ramona, 86 in El Cajon and Carlsbad, 78 degrees, 77 in San Diego and 76 in Chula Vista. And you'll notice as we go right into our 10 News Pinpoint 7 day forecast, coastal areas are really not going to see many changes. The water temperature is averaging in the mid 70s. Daytime highs over the weekend will stay right around 78 degrees. Next week, 81 on Monday, Tuesday, and by the end of the week, which should see the numbers back down into the upper 70s. In our inland communities, we'll keep that westerly flow. Temperatures around 87 degrees for tomorrow, 90s on Sunday, and then we'll keep it, like I said, above normal. This pattern is just going to keep that heat pumping and it's just not going to create any changes. No breaks for us in the near future. In our mountains, it's a little bit different. We do have more of that easterly flow that's bringing monsoonal flow. So showers and thunderstorms are a possibility. It'll be a chance Saturday, Sunday into Monday. And then thankfully it goes down and it becomes drier as we go into the middle of next week. It's such a fortunate situation for our firefighters in San Pasqual Valley this evening. Just watching those plumes of smoke go straight up helps so helpful. No wind, such a big factor, but of course the heat is still something to watch. Conditions still very dangerous. Yes. Now. All right.